safety out there. Thank you, Dan. Now let's talk about blood pressure and what you should know about it. In the sponsored segment, we welcome in Dr. Brian Clements, an internal medicine physician with Intermountain Medical Center. Blood pressure, high blood pressure. We all know someone who has suffered from high blood pressure and it's a big indicator of heart disease. Yes, so it's, it's the biggest risk factor for all heart disease and also for stroke and also kidney disease. So what are the questions we should be asking ourselves about high blood pressure? So first of all, do we know what our blood pressure is? And uh, it's important that it's measured accurately. There's, there's specific ways to do it because you can have errant uh, measuring of blood pressure where you may think you have high blood pressure and you don't or you may think you have normal blood pressure and you don't. And what should we be asking our doctors then? So for an accurate blood pressure to be measured, um, we should have been sitting uh, for five to 15 minutes, mm -hmm. um, just calm, um, not just walking or rushing into the office. We should have a properly fitting blood pressure cuff that goes around our arm comfortably, doesn't, doesn't hurt. And uh, then uh, we should, it should be checked. And right now there's a lot of questions. A lot of people check it manually or there's machines that do it. Both of those are good. We're part of the research that we're doing is trying to figure out how to standardize blood pressure mm. measurement throughout the country and the world. Because you want to be as consistent as possible. Yes, absolutely. And when it comes to preventing high blood pressure, mm -hmm. what do you suggest to do? So the, the biggest thing is to keep a normal body weight to be fit. Uh, the more active you are and physically fit you are, the better you do. Good nutrition, good, I assume. Yep, good nutrition, especially avoiding salty foods and avoiding high calorie foods, keeping, keeping diet. Um, important. Also getting plenty of sleep. Um, also uh, not drinking alcohol excessively and of course not smoking. Not smoking. So these are all very important things to remember and also I know that when it comes to high blood pressure it can run in the family. It is Absolutely. important to know your family history. Absolutely. Um, there is a genetic preponderance to what we call primary hypertension and so Absolutely. If your mom or dad or siblings have it, you should definitely get your blood pressure checked because you may have it as well. And the importance of making sure you take that medication. Yes. High blood pressure. And so yeah, exactly. So when lifestyle changes aren't enough, we do have good medicines that are well tolerated that can keep your blood pressure down and they do make a difference. They will reduce your chance of the bad stuff like heart attack, stroke, or heart failure. How soon could we see something standardized like taking your blood pressure? That is a great <laughs> number question. number one question, that, right? That is a great question. That's one of the things that, like in our research at Intermountain Medical Center that we're trying to help do. We hope to have actually a prospective study where we can uh, attempt to try and help standardize the measurement throughout doctor's offices. Thank you so much for that information. Very vital for people at home to understand. Dr. Brian Clement with Intermountain Medical Center in internal medicine doctor. Thanks for spending time with us. Come